Hello and welcome to Take My Baggage, the dating show with a difference. Our lovely lady won't be picking a man based on looks, but instead on what he's hiding in his carry-on. We have three charming men for her to choose from, and one of which she will be taking out on a romantic date. So, let's meet our contestants. Here we have our three contestants. Contestant number one, could you just tell us your name, whereabouts you're from, and something about yourself? Uh, my name's Daniel. I'm from Bath, and uh, I was born in Canada. Oh, really? Fair enough. Yeah. That's nice to know. Cheers for that, Dan. Um, and contestant number two. Hi, I'm uh, Jody. I'm from Bath, and uh, my dad used to race cars as a living. Oh, really? Fair enough. Any mm. team in particular? Anyone we might know? Uh, Mercedes, about? actually. Oh, yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. Yeah. Fair okay. enough. Uh, are you much of a racer yourself? I'm not, unfortunately. No, more of a socialiser. Okay. Mm. Fair enough. And last but not least, I, I'm Will. I'm from Carlisle, and I um, enjoy bird watching. I do. <laughs> it's an amiable hobby. I like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> now. No dating show is complete without a gorgeous girl to put these guys through their paces. Let's say a big take my baggage hello to Mia. So hello Mia. Tell me a bit about yourself. Well I'm Mia, I go to Leeds University. Um, I quite like going out at the moment with my friends, but I'm looking for a guy to settle down with. Okay, I can see that. So how, how are you feeling, though, about this, about getting involved in this? Are you excited? Because we're going to be playing Take My Baggage, and you're going to be meeting three of the most eligible bachelors in Leeds. No, I'm really excited. I'm sure that you've got some really fit guys for me. Mm, I'm sure we do. Well, I don't know we do. I've just been across <laughs> it. Um, but do you have any tactics that you might use to separate the men from the boys? Well, I'm going to try and listen to their voices, see if they've got a hot voice and kind of like see if their answers are good or not okay. and then work out from there. What specifically are you looking for in a guy? Well, I'm quite tall, so a tall guy. Um, I'm quite into rugby players at the moment, so like quite built, blonde hair, blue eyes, bit of banter. OK, we'll have to see what we, what we can do. Um, now that we're all acquainted, let's crack on with round one, the elimination. Now, the rules for round one are incredibly simple. Mia has three pieces of baggage in front of her, all containing some rather revealing information about our three guys. All she needs to do is have a route round and see what takes her fancy and what sends her running for the hills. Now, one of them will get eliminated, so let's take a look inside the baggage. In baggage number one, we have... Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do we think about that, Mia? I'm Honest not, opinion. I'm oh. not feeling that at all. No, are you not? No. It's yes. got a bit of a sparkle to it. I bet he's got good calves, but <laughs> I'm not into a heel guy, really. Okay. I quite like them straight. OK, well, let's have a look in baggage number two, then, shall we? What do you think about... Oh, check that out. Oh, I feel like I'm being negative about all of them, but <laughs> I don't really like football, and I don't really like a football guy. I'm kind of always watching it, shouting it's only really in my Sunday face. It's match of the day, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really like that, though. OK, well, we'll move on to baggage number three, then. Jamie's 30-minute meals. I quite like Jamie Oliver, actually. I went to eat his restaurant the other day. Did you? How was yeah, it? Yeah, it was really nice. So would you like a man to be able to replicate some of those meals that you had there? Definitely, 100%. Okay. See, that's so. OK, so based on that eye-opening assessment, Mia, who are you going to eliminate? I think it's quite obvious on this one, I'm not going to lie. Number one, definitely. I can't deal with a guy with heels. It's a bit weird. OK, so contestant number one, Dan. Please come and take your baggage. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, brutal. We all miss him hugely. I'm a bit gutted because that's the first time that my baggage has let me down. Um, but you know, the guys out there seem nice. She seemed like a lovely girl. I'm sure that both of them will go out on a fantastic date with us. So I wish them all the best of luck. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Now, let's crack on with round two.
These two lucky boys are still up for grabs. You guys feeling confident? Yeah, yeah, I feel confident. Yeah. Yep. The uh, cookbook seemed to go down quite well. I think, yeah, I thought it definitely did. I saw a reaction to that. So let's now see what you've brought to the table. So we're down to the wire. Con one contestant down, and only two sets of baggage remain. <coughs> We've added an extra piece for each one, and now our lovely lady gets the chance to ask our men a question based on what she's found so far, before finally she'll pick her man. Let's see what we've added to contestant number twos. Fake tan. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. Well, what would you like to ask Jodie about his fake tan? Well, where do you put your fake tan? All what over area? the place. All over the place, uh, I'll let your imagination go wild. <laughs> um, I just like to look good and feel my best at all times, really. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Jodie. Let's move on to Will. We have an assortment of Disney DVDs. Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins. I quite like Disney films, actually. Yeah. You can have a good night in with them. Um have pizza, some wine, mm -hmm. and Mary Poppins. So what would you what would you pose to Will about his great his... So what would your perfect night be in with these two films that you love so much? Um, well, obviously, I love going out just as much as the next person, but a quiet night in, cook your meal, bottle of wine, settle down with a Disney film. I think that sounds like a perfect night to me. Maybe a bit of a lad and he can show you a whole new world. Oh, cheeky. Okay. Um, OK, so brace yourself, Mia. The moment has come. Based on what you've seen here, who would you like to join you on a date? We'll give you a few seconds to decide. Okay. However, I would not be able to forgive myself if I didn't reveal that one of these men has a bedwetting problem. Okay. Don't. Okay. Which uh, one of these men do you think is most likely to have that have that type of issue? Well, I think the fake tan guy likes himself quite a bit, so I can imagine he's kind of covering up that he wets the bed every night. It's just kind of like a defence mechanism or something. So do you think it's Jody then? Yeah. He definitely wets the bed. Okay, that means Jody, please come and take your baggage. It's my time, but it's okay. oh, sorry. Oh, no problem. No problem. Commiserations for Jodie there, we are sad to lose him. To be honest, I'm not that gutted, uh, didn't really feel anything, and I mean, what girl doesn't like a guy who likes football and fake tans all the time? Uh, well, she was deciding to go with a bird watcher, enough said. But congratulations though, congratulations indeed. It looks like yourself and Will have won yourself a date. Mia, meet your man. Woo! How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And I can in fact confirm that it was not actually Will who was the bedwetter. So, now guys, how do you feel though? What are your first impressions of each other? Nice face, good body. Yeah, same, very Thank nice, so nice much. and tall, Thank like you. a tall lady. Well, let's take a cheeky little gander at the date you lucky lovebirds are going to be going on. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. Now that all just looks dandy, doesn't it? But let's not get too excited, as I don't think it would be fair if we, could, if we couldn't see some of Mia's baggage. But unfortunately, that's not gonna be... Might actually be possible. Um, here we are. Let's have a look now. 
Now, in this piece of lovely lady luggage, we have three pieces of baggage, only one of which belongs to Mia. Will, you're going to have to take a look inside, choose between the three, and choose one of which you can know you could you'd never be able to go on a date with. So, the first piece that we have is a picture. A Ooh. picture of some very elegant feet. Well, maybe they were at the start of the night, but towards the end... Not looking so good now. Yeah. Second piece we have is a leather whip. Quite like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the third piece, Will, is a feather boa. Yeah, still nice. OK, so Deal with which, that. which of the three, though, which of the three, if you had to choose a piece that you wouldn't be able to go on a date with, which piece of those would, would it be? I think it's going to have to be the feet. Couldn't, don't think I could uh, go out with a girl with feet like that. <sighs> Will. Will, Will, Will. Bad news. Congratulations, because that is in fact not Mia's baggage. Woo. You guys are going on a date. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 folks. That's a wrap on another week over here at Take My Baggage HQ. Join us next week when we'll be hooking up more guys and girls, airing their dirty laundry, and most importantly, ensuring that they lose their dignity in the process. See you next time. Woo.